How the F-35 keeps proving it's the best fighter jet on Earth. Second to none. F-35 shows off power, duty of thunder, and lightning over Arizona. For many aviation experts and enthusiasts, the famed F-35 fighter is considered to be the most lethal and versatile military aircraft of the modern era. And is usually the case when it participates in an air show. This next generation plane often takes center stage whenever it takes to the skies. Case in point, the thunder and lightning over Arizona, held in early November. Daniel Patriscu at Auto Evolution notes that as one of the largest air shows in the United States, the thunder and lightning over Arizona draws some of the most spectacular aerial machines in the world over to the Davis Monthan Air Force Base, where they are allowed to make a spectacle of themselves for the delight of the crowds. Over the years, the great names of the U.S. Air Force and other military branches have been present in the air there, but also carmakers, who've always had the opportunity to show off their best products on the ground. And the best spectacle takes place in the sky, where machines fielded by the USAF Thunderbirds, or the F-35 demo team among others, show their prowess, he continues. Picture perfect. Patriscu also pointed out that an amazing pic was taken by senior airman Keitlin Urgish at the air show. It shows the perfectly sculpted silhouette of the F-35A Lightning II flown by the plane's demo team commander, Major Kristen Wolf, as the only speck of darkness in an otherwise perfectly blue sky. We've seen this airplane pilot duo several times before, performing all sorts of incredible stunts all across North America. This time, we're getting a perfect view of the machine's upper side, with everything perfectly visible and distinguishable, from the nose and canopy to the rear wings and afterburner. Your Planet Just last week, the aircraft again made headlines when the U.S. Air Force announced that the first F-35 fighters to be stationed in Europe finally landed at their new home in England at Royal Air Force Lake Heath. According to defense writer Jennifer Sfan at Stars and Stripes, the four planes, fresh off the Lockheed Martin production line in Fort Worth, Texas were part of the initial delivery to the fighter base in Suffolk for U.S. Air Forces in Europe and Air Forces Africa. The squadron will eventually boast a total of 24 aircraft, which will be delivered to Royal Air Force's Lake Heath in phases, according to U.S. Air and Forces and Air Force's Africa officials. There will also be two F-35A squadrons. It was also reported by Military.com that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, is eyeing an even larger presence of F-35s on the continent. Air Force General Todd Walters, who leads the U.S. European Command and is NATO's supreme allied commander for Europe, confirmed that the coalition will continue to build up its F-35 fighter capability perhaps with more than 400 F-35s in the coming decades.